If you are struggling to get good FPS and experiencing frame drops and stutters in the new Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, then this is the video for you. These are the best Fortnite settings to completely optimize Fortnite Season 2 for the best FPS possible and maximum performance. All of these methods will help you get more FPS in Fortnite and fix any micro stutters that you might be facing. If this does help, then drop a like down below. With that, let's dive into it. But quickly guys, if you want zero ping in any game that you play, then check out the gear up booster from the link in the description as it provides you with the optimal network routes giving you zero ping and packet loss in every game so go down into the description and download the europe booster now europe booster is also used by many pro players in fortnite such as asian jeff day and miro so you don't have to worry about being banned as well also america has the largest fortnite player base making NA servers one of the most crowded servers in the world so europe booster will be more useful to american players than players from any other region so as all of you know that fortnite is a highly superior bound game and most of these optimizations will have to do with the game settings relying on boosting the cpu performance hence increasing the overall fps in fortnite season 2 so let's start off with some of the epic games launcher setting itself go ahead and open up the epic games launcher and then click on your profile then go into the settings and inside of here simply go ahead and follow along with me first one is to uncheck the minimize to system tray this will make sure that when you close the epic games launcher from here it does not get minimized to system tray but instead gets closed from the background as well the second one is to disable the debug logging as well as you do not want it to be logging in the background then go ahead and scroll down until you get to the desktop notifications make sure that both of these options are unchecked because if you have these checked and a notification pops up while you're playing fortnite it will cause the game to be forced out of the exclusive full screen mode which will introduce a lot of input delay so make sure that both of these are unchecked and then go down into the fortnite section expand it down and for the additional command line arguments go ahead and check it and then copy these three commands into this bar the first one is the LAN play. This is going to give you a bit of improvement in the network as well as the overall ping. For the no splash, it's going to decrease the loading times and also disable the splash screen. And for the use all available cores, this is going to make sure that none of the CPU cores are sitting idle and all of them are being utilized by the Fortnite. Now once we are done with all of these settings, simply go back, click on the three dots under Fortnite and go into the options. Inside of here, make sure that the high resolution textures as well as direct text 12 shaders are both unchecked. And for the pre-download streamed assets, I do recommend that you go ahead and download these because as the name suggests it's going to pre-download all of the streamed assets so that you won't need to download each and every asset when the game is loading this will increase the fortnite size on the disc which you can see right here but i still do recommend it as for the additional languages simply go ahead and only download the language that you really require otherwise uncheck all of them now you can close out of this and you can close out of this as well up next we are going to be resetting the fortnite old config file so that we can generate a new one and apply all of our best settings inside of there but before that go down into the description of this video and download the best settings pack for fortnite season 2 another thing that i have noticed is a lot of people accusing the website to be full of viruses or downloading the viruses which is completely false the reason for that is because they don't know how to download it even though i show it inside of my videos so in order to download the pack properly simply click on the link in the description which should take you to a home page something like this now as you can see that i don't even have an ad blocker installed due to all of these ads that show up and now once you are on the page all you need to do is simply scroll down and click on the download button which is provided right here do not click any other download button or any of the other ads and once you click on it it will open up the pack inside of the same tab if anything else opens up in a new tab simply close it and make sure that the pack opens up inside of the same tab also all of my packs are always uploaded to mediafire so make sure that you are not getting to the wrong link once you are on the mediafire page simply hit download and you should have the pack downloaded and now that you have it downloaded simply right click and extract it using 7-zip winroll or really whatever you want now if you open up the pack you will find that there are three files inside of here the first one is an nvidia inspector folder which we will be using later the second one is an engine.ini file and the third one is the actual fortnite game settings now these are my custom settings that you can use which i will show you how as well but i will also show you how to edit your own settings and use the best ones without downloading this anyways for now minimize it open up your start menu and then search for run go ahead and open up the run app inside of here go ahead and type in percentage local app data and percentage once more and then hit ok once this folder opens up click anywhere and type in e until you get to the epic games launcher folder go ahead and open it up go inside is the saved then config then windows and inside of here you will find the engine.ini now if you right click on it and click on edit you will find that it's empty for you for me i have already pasted this code but what you can do is you can either pause the video and copy all of this code inside of this file or what you can do is simply open up the pack then copy the engine.ini file from there and then simply go ahead and paste 
it inside of here, replace the file in the destination and that's it. Now you have the best Epic Games Launcher engine file which is going to allow you to pre-download those streamed assets much faster than what you would be doing before. Once you are done inside of here, simply go ahead and go back to the local folder. Now this time go ahead and find the Fortnite game and in order to reset the Fortnite config all you need to do is right click on it and then click on rename and then just put one at the end of it. You can put anything but I'm just gonna go ahead and put in one and then hit enter. Now Fortnite will not be able to access this and it's going to generate a completely new config file. Now you can close out of this and launch into the Fortnite so that we can apply the best settings inside of there. Now once you launch into Fortnite it will ask you to find the best settings automatically simply go ahead and click on decline. Now once inside of here go ahead and click on this little profile icon and go inside of the settings. Now inside of the video settings the first thing to do is to change the display settings. Inside of here for the windowed mode go ahead and set it to full screen. The reason I'm not gonna be setting it to full screen right now is because I'm recording this video. But this is what is recommended by me as well as the game itself as you can see inside of here. That in full screen mode you cannot interact with other windows as easily but the game will run slightly faster. As for the resolution this is really up to you. I do recommend setting a lower resolution if you have a really low end PC but setting it to 1080p should work fine for most of you guys who have a decent PC. You can also look into using different stretch resolutions however in my opinion most of the stretch resolutions are not really worth it. For the vsync you of course want it off. For the frame rate limit make sure to cap it at something that you consistently get. For example if you have a 144Hz monitor and you only get 120fps consistently then cap it on 120fps rather than 144. Similarly if you only get 60fps consistently then simply go ahead and cap it at 60fps. This is going to make sure that you don't experience micro stutters and also that your frames don't drop as much as they would normally. For the rendering mode I really want you to set it to performance mode because this will tremendously help you to get more fps. Setting the rendering mode to performance will lower all of the graphics ensuring that you get higher fps and overall lower input latency. For the brightness it's personal preference, user contrast is once again personal preference and everything inside of here other than the motion blur is a personal preference. I highly recommend you that you go ahead and turn off motion blur because this is something that is completely useless for competitive gaming and also it takes a toll on your fps. So simply go ahead and turn it off. Moving on to the graphics quality inside of here, go ahead and set the anti-aliasing and super resolution to turn off and since you have set the anti-aliasing and super resolution to off you should not be able to change the temporal super resolution meaning that it will also be disabled automatically. For the 3D resolution I would recommend you to set it to 100% if you're using a lower resolution however if you're using a higher resolution then setting it to something like 88% is really helpful. This is going to lower the quality of your overall resolution by a bit hence improving the FPS. As you can also see inside of here that lower resolutions can significantly increase frame rate. For the dynamic 3D resolution once again go ahead and turn it off because if you turn it on it's going to increase the resolution of the objects that are rendered inside of the game and your GPU will have to work extra hard to render all of these objects. For the nanite virtualized geometry once again turn it off. For the shadows simply go ahead and turn them off. For the global illumination go ahead and turn them off. Reflections should also be turned off. View distance should be set to something like medium or far because this does have a fair bit of effect on the competitive advantage so make sure that you set it to something like far or medium. For the textures go ahead and set them to low. For the effects once again set them to low. Post processing should also be set to low. For the advanced graphics show FPS is personal preference but I like to monitor my FPS so I turn it on. For the GPU crash debugging make sure that this is turned off. Latency markers should also be turned off unless you are testing latency. And for the Nvidia reflex low latency go ahead and set it to on if you have a low end PC but if you have a decent PC then simply go ahead and set it to on plus boost. For the report performance stat once again go ahead and set them to disable. Now that we are done with all of the best settings inside of the video settings move on to the audio settings and for this one the only setting that I want you to change is the audio quality which if you scroll down under the sound it should be set to high go ahead and set it to low. And also for the visualized sound effects if you have a really low end PC this can cause a lot of micro stutters if you are in a really competitive 1v1 however for most of you guys setting this on should be a no problem but still for those who have a really low end PC I would highly recommend you to set it to off. And that's it now simply go ahead and hit apply and these are the best settings inside of Fortnite now let's move on to the best config settings. Now that we have applied the best in-game settings, it's also time to apply the best Fortnite config settings that can only be changed from inside of the config file itself. Once again, you can go ahead and simply copy and paste my config file but just keep in mind that you will need to change the resolution inside of here because I'm using the ones that preferred for me. Now let's move on to the manual method of changing the config file settings and in order to do that, once again go down to your start menu and search for run. Go ahead and open it up and inside of here once again type in percentage, local app data percentage once more and 
and hit ok and inside of here now you should be able to see another fortnite game folder that is newly generated simply go ahead and open it up and open up the saved then go into the config windows client and inside of here or the game user settings dot ini now right click on it click on edit and inside of here what you need to do is scroll down until you can find the b-show grass and go ahead and set it to false then after that scroll down once again and go to the desired global emulation quality set it to zero do the same thing for the reflection quality go ahead and set it to zero then scroll down until you get to the scalability groups inside of here everything should be set to zero except for view distance quality so make sure that you don't change this one other than that for the foliage quality once again go ahead and set it equal to zero do the same thing for the shading quality go ahead and set it to zero and finally the landscape quality should also be set to zero once you're done here simply hit file and then hit save and then close out of this you can close out of this as well now this next week is completely for the nvidia users so the users who use an amd graphics card or intel integrated graphics can skip to the next step for this one you will need to open up the pack that you just downloaded and then open up the nvidia inspector inside of here this is a completely newly updated rectangle profile that is especially optimized for fortnite season 2 and all you need to do is simply drag it onto the nvidia profile inspector.exe and that's it now you have applied the best secret nvidia settings so simply hit ok and you can close out of this now you can even delete the pack it's really up to you moving on to the next step this is especially useful for those of you who have their discord or their web browser running in the background while they're playing fortnite as you can assume that running your discord as well as your browser uses up a lot of cpu resources and as we established in the beginning of this video fortnite requires a lot of cpu since it is a cpu bound game but there are a few settings that we can change inside of these softwares that will allow us to restrict the use of cpu hence freeing up more cpu for fortnite to use hence improving the fps the first thing is to open up your discord and inside of here click on the user settings once here scroll down until you go inside of the advanced settings and make sure that the hardware acceleration is turned off then go ahead and hit ok this is going to restart your discord once your discord has been restarted click on the settings once again and this time scroll down until you get to the game overlay go ahead and disable the game overlay as well this is going to make sure that the discord does not interrupt the exclusive full screen mode while you are playing the game so once you are done with both of these settings inside of discord now it's time to optimize your browser so go ahead and open up any browser that you use for me i personally use brave but you can do the same things inside of firefox or google chrome or whatever browser you use simply go ahead and click on the three dots or three bars and then click on the settings Settings. Once you are inside of the settings, simply click on the system tab. This should be present inside of the Chrome as well. And inside of the system tab, all you need to do is make sure that the continue running background apps when Brave or Chrome is closed is turned off. And the second option should be to use graphic acceleration when available. Go ahead and turn this off as well. Once you turn this one off, it will require you to relaunch your browser. So simply go ahead, click on relaunch and relaunch your browser. But now that you are done here, go ahead and check out this video if you want to get even more FPS and lower latency in Fortnite Season 2.